Didn't I say it ain't over until the fat lady sings? Well, guess what? She's not singing. Not anytime soon. Just look at this political landscape. Believe me, it ain't over until it's over and she's not singing. Because remember, she's in a coma. We gave her chocolate cake, but don't tell anyone. Okay? So yeah, she's not singing. And when Biden announced that he'd be stepping down, I my phone blew up. Everyone went crazy. But I stayed away from YouTube. I didn't want to muddy the waters with everybody else coming up with what I had to say, because that wasn't much. But now that the dust has settled, and it looks like all those psychics that are getting yelled at saying, you told me this, you told me that. Well, guess what? We got it right. Time was off. Most of us said that Biden would be stepping down and handing the reins of the presidency over to Kamala Harris so that she would be the first black female president of the United States. Still stands true. Just the timing's off. And as one friend reminds me, we live in a universe of free will. All right? That all being said, many of us still are getting that the Democrats win. Now, when I look at it, I wasn't looking at Trump per se. I was looking to see if Project 2025 would take hold and grow, and it withered dead on the vine. So that's why I'm predicting that the Democrats win 2024 election, and Mr. Trump and Project 2025 will go away. But the one thing that everyone has to remember after that alleged assassination attempt, he got free reign. I mean, the news was very nice to him. Nobody was talking about him speaking like a blithering idiot, slurring his words, and acting like the uncle that we throw food at the end of the table at Thanksgiving because they're nuts. But he is nuts. Entertainment purposes only. But at the same time, we live in a world and a universe of free will. The bottom line is, Biden will be remembered as a patriot, as a statesman, as a gentleman, as a wonderful president who was able to take this country from disaster to where it is today. And if you listen to the Republicans, we're still in the disaster, but I don't know what manuals they're reading. It's all fake, just like their news. But also, what people are forgetting, they're so afraid of Trump and Republicans. Now Trump's the old man, the doddering old man. Maybe the legacy news will now have to focus on the fact that he slurs his words, he's incoherent, he talks about sharks, execution, believes Hannibal Lecter is a real person, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, and also Nikki Haley, you know, was Nancy Pelosi. Whatever. Yeah, maybe we'll start reporting on that again. But the other thing that's coming forward is that I keep on picking up that there's some stuff that's going to hit the fan with Trump at the end of August regarding two women in regards to the Epstein situation. And they're going to have receipts. One of them may be slightly well-known. That's all I'm getting from my guides. But it's going to be ugly with a capital U. And after that, don't forget, we have September 18th, the sentencing. So there's a, and it's going to get ugly. So there's a lot of things happening to Mr. Trump, citizen Trump, felon Trump, that he's boasting that he's the winner. He's not. He's the winner to go to the first to the bottom. Where I see it. And what I keep on picking up about J.D. Vance, I believe from what I pulled on cards and scribed and talked to the guides, Mr. Citizen Felon Trump is actually having second thoughts, especially after J.D. Vance gave his first rally, lackluster disaster that even Fox had to cut away from. It was so bad. And, you know, Trump will throw anybody under the bus if He's not getting the ratings. So let's see what happens when Kamala is announced the Democratic nominee 
and who her running mate is. And the minute her running mate, don't I'm not going to talk about running mates right now, but no matter who her running mate is, it's going to share fear between Trump and J.D. Vance. And they're going to have some explaining to do. Okay? The way I'm seeing the Trump train going right now and Project 2025 is like stacking deck chairs on the Titanic. However, don't go to the conspiracy theories now that it's a political coup against Biden. Biden did what he felt was good for the country. Regardless. Kamala raised about 81 million in one day. I mean, somebody likes her. So whatever the politics, whatever the playing is, whatever, she'll be our nominee. And as I've been saying, we have to vote and vote blue. Up and down the ballot. As I've said, vote blue no matter who or no matter who, vote blue. All right. Now, going back to the Supreme Court, I still see the changes coming. I still see everything happening the way I did before. It's, I keep on getting that Kamala Harris is going to continue with everything that Biden has started. Now, at the same time, for him to step down, believe me, he's made some deals and said, if you want me to step down, this and this and this and this has to be done that I did get. And this, 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 and this will get done. He's going to come out swinging. And a lot of things are going to be accomplished even more in these next four months. And it's going to freak people out that this man is a go-getter and is a man of his word. At the same time, Kamala is going to still steer the country in the right direction. Everybody's fearing that she has her own agendas. Everybody has her own agenda. But I do feel that she was part of Biden's progressive dream for this country. And she will continue on, all right? So just sit down, relax. Don't watch the polls. Don't watch the news. Just know in your heart this has to happen. And let us all be grateful for the good, the bad, and the ugly in our lives so that we can move forward. And as I've always said, send them light till they get it right. All right? So this is going to be really short, just a, a drive-by. So I hope this all makes sense, but I'm just waiting for the end of August. And then the sentencing on eight, September 18th, it's going to be delicious. All right, not that I'm a vicious person who's looking for revenge. I am an Aries, but that's a whole nother story. But the fact that JD Vance, I really, really feel, is on shaky ground right now. So, with all this in mind, calm down, stay true to blue, stay true to you. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and above all, stay amazing. All right, calm down. Bye-bye. <laughs>